I'm sure you have already thought of it. But the question is, how many of you have actually turned this thought into action? What's up fellow sapiens and welcome to another eye-catching episode. My name is Neo and I am an international medical graduate from Cyprus. I took the USMLE step 2 this February and got accepted for an ophthalmology residency in Israel at the Hadassah Medical Center. Today, I want to explain why should you go ahead and take the following examinations. The USMLE, the United States Medical Licensing Examination, or the MRCP, which is the corresponding postgraduate medical diploma in the UK. I am aware that these examinations are not mandatory for those of you who studied outside the United States or the United Kingdom. You may not need them for residency placement. But please, pay attention to this video to understand the benefits of taking these examinations. And for the rest of, who of you who study in the United States or the UK, then these exams are mandatory to progress in your medical journey. But still, you can keep watching this video. We all start our medical journey with ambition, dreaming of becoming one of the best and serving patients with greatest care. Most of us think of going to the United States or United Kingdom for our residencies. But during our medical studies, many of us procrastinate or even forget about our dreams. And in the end, very few decide to take these examinations. And the first time I thought of taking the USMLE was when I was in the first year of my medical studies. And it wasn't only me who thought of it. Most of my classmates were thinking of taking these examinations as well. We were all saying, okay, we will start with step one by next year. Then, year after year, the time has passed and I graduated without even trying to take the USMLE. And after graduation, I worked as a trainee doctor for, uh, for one year in my country and then went for a specialization in Greece for almost another year. And two years have passed since my graduation and only then I did realize that I if I wanted to change things for the better and excel in ophthalmology, I needed to take some action. And by action, I mean that I had to take the USMLE or the MRCP if I wanted to attain a residency placement in a notable hospital. And let's face it, nobody wants to be mediocre. We all want the best for ourselves, and so did I. And now, I would like to motivate all of you to do the same. I am here to help you think about it, set a goal, and if you go for the USMLE, then take the exam during your medical studies without wasting your time after graduation, as I did. So for all the international medical students, here are the five benefits of taking either the USMLE or the MRCP exam. And first of all, you enhance your medical knowledge. To take such exams, you need to be so well prepared and undoubtedly you need to know almost everything. You get to learn new information, go through difficult topics that you never understood in the first place and get to revise old material again and again, all of which sums up becoming a better physician and providing better healthcare. Secondly, you get certified for passing such exams, which in turn you can use this certification to your advantage. You can either write it in your CV or use it as a proof that you have made it through such a demanding examination, which is an extra qualification compared to other candidates that do not have this certification. The competition is growing out there and you need to stand out. Taking the USMLE or the MRCP is a great way to do so. Third, you can attain a residency in the United States or the United Kingdom. This of course is personal and depends from person to person. Maybe it is not your priority to work abroad, but assuming from what I know so far, most medical graduates dream of doing the residency in places like the United States, Israel or the United Kingdom. Everyone wants the best for themselves. So plan and take these exams accordingly. And if you need a study plan for the step two, uh, USMLE step two, then check my video in the description below where I share for free my study plan, which helped me succeed in the step two exam. One more benefit in taking either exam is about learning the skill of setting goals. Learning how to set a goal is fundamental skill for personal development and most successful people put it into practice. Taking such a major exam like step two needs a whole preparation, a proper study plan and a specific goal. And the goal is there to consciously and unconsciously remind us of what we should do and what we shouldn't. It reminds yourself 
why you have started studying and why are you doing this. Every time you find yourself in doubt, you just need to remember your goal, which by the way must be clearly written with the exam test day and score. Anything you want in life must have a goal for it. So set a goal for this exam and you will be one step closer to succeeding both in the exam and in personal development. And the last benefit, number five, which in my opinion is the greatest benefit of all, is the fulfillment you get after succeeding in the exam. The pleasure you get after you have achieved your goal cannot be described in words. You get to grow your confidence and build trust in yourself. The preparation of the examination takes months to be accomplished, and so its benefits are long-lasting. In the end, I achieved the personal goal I have set, and by saying this, I want to motivate all of you out there that you can do it as well. It is worth to study intensively for a few months, succeed in the exam, and benefit from it afterwards. You shouldn't wait until you graduate to decide if you want to take the step two, for example. It is never too late, but there is no reason to waste your time. I hope you found this video helpful and the least I expect from you is to set a goal. And if you need any help regarding the tutoring for the USMLE step two, please comment below or send me an email. And if you have reached this far of the video, I'm sure you will enjoy the rest of the videos over here and here regarding step two examination. Thank you for watching and see you next time.